Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, my name is Yuni Ekwati. I'm an academic and researcher at the Faculty of Pharmacy Erlangga University Indonesia and also a member of Drug Development Research Groups, one of the leading pharmacy research groups in Faculty of Pharmacy Erlangga University. My research areas focus on investigating drug discovery and development from natural sources and semi-synthetic roads. Drug discovery and development will be the area uh, most impacted by the implementation of smart technology including chemoinformatics. This is necessary to bypass the trial and error steps of finding the lead compound in drug discovery stage, which requires a lengthy and very high cost economy. The synthesis method we use is a green chemistry using microwave irradiation. In my research, I selected the target and identified the lead compound using the in silico technology method. Besides that, I also used the in silico study to design more potential compounds and studied that pharmacokinetic in the body and the toxicity of this compound. Thus, the compound selected for synthesis is an effective and safe compound. One of the lead compounds in our study was the ethyl paramethoxycinamide isolated from the Tamferia galangarisum. This plant is traditionally used for pain relief. Through an in silico approach, it can be seen how the interaction of the functional group of the ethyl paramethoxycinamide with the amino acid residue of the cyclooxygenase 2 enzyme. The change of ester group into the carboxyl direct the target more forward cyclooxygenase 1. Uh, the conversion of the phenylic double bond to single bond decrease the interaction with the same receptor target. Uh, structure modification the carboxylic acid group to the thioremity, it changes its activity to be more specific in inhibition of COX-2 and also tyrosine kinase so that it can be used to inhibit cancer cell growth through inhibiting the angiogenesis process in the early phase of carcinogenesis. In our study, the angiogenic activity was proven using chorioallantoic membrane from embryonic chicken eggs as a model. Based on our observation, it is known that there is a significant decrease in neovascularization and the formation of endothelial, endothelial cells or blood vessels. More complete information can be read in journal that we have published. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.